been very hard. The game was taken away from me, and obviously that, you know, that's painful, that bothers me. And when you can't do what you love, when you can't do what you've done your whole life, it's tough. You go through some very, very difficult times. I think that just makes me even more passionate about it. It makes me want it even more. Um, and I know I have a lot left. I'm saying, but if I like too much, just get a hit strong right, side. Just do this with space. On the game. But I can't take both, right? You know, they could have brought in some ex-coach that I don't have a relationship with that doesn't know me personally, doesn't know my game, doesn't know what I'm capable of doing. So having JB, you know, as the head coach, makes me feel more comfortable going through such, you know, harsh injuries and rehab that he knows how I play, he knows that I mean well, he knows what kind of teammate and guy I am. You can go to him for anything, even just off the court stuff you're going through. You know, his office door is always open and like I said, he's like family to me. I know his family very well, he knows my family very well. Hey, watch this. Welcome back. I thought I was a quarterback. I thought I wasn't doing contact. Uh -uh. You were on the <laughs> practice squad. <laughs> hey, Bill. Huh? Can you make it back out there? No, I do not. Hey, how do I look? You look like an NBA player again. Like, I look nice. He's always like a, a shoulder I can lean on and, and talk to, and I talk to him all summer. He and I stay in touch throughout the summer and kind of understanding what he's trying to do and what he's trying to accomplish. And what I think is important, I think that sometimes is missed, is you know even through his injuries, you know he's done everything that we've asked or that is possible to try to come back and play. And again, this summer he's done the same thing. And, Right now, you know, he's the healthiest he's been in a while. He played more pickup this summer than he was able to do in the past. I think I noticed, you know, the first time I played five on five this summer, just in pickup, which obviously it's not as organized, it's not an NBA game, but I can just tell the way I move. See ya. The way I feel, the confidence I'm playing with, the I'm able to put in work and put in time on my shot, on my handle, on my post game. And I think slowly but surely it's going to start showing. Good, man. Thanks, bro. Hey. Get through, get through, get through. Hey, keep moving the ball, White. Hey. My back-to-back -back debut is over. It's just fun. It's, I'm having fun again. I'm going through every practice. I'm not sitting out. I'm going through every drill. Although I didn't play a lot of minutes in that back-to-back, -back, I mentally know going into the season now, I can play on a back-to-back. -back. There's no you know, shadow over my head thinking, can I do this? Can I do that? You know, Medically, I'm cleared. I don't even like answering questions now on how I feel. Like My mom would text me, like, how's your knees? Like, yeah. I want to be like, my, you know, my calves are more sore than my than my knees. So it's 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 a great feeling. And like I said, the guys that we've brought in this year have just made it so much more enjoyable. True hands, true hands. If I'm healthy and I'm playing well and we're winning, you know, everything's good. I don't even need the ice. He said I'm done. I'm not sore. We're excited about it. You know, we're looking forward to it. He's a heck of a basketball player with his ability to play make, his size, uh, his ability to shoot the ball, and his intelligence. Again, kind of fitting the mold of modern NBA basketball. So we're looking forward to, you know, him being back with us and being able to get on the court and play consistent games and kind of build up that confidence and the consistency of some sort of rhythm of playing in games. I want him to practice. I want him to, to to be the player, the you know, the best player the challenge can be, whatever that is, and have it uh, have him in a, in a consistent basis. So, you know, his size, his shooting, his playmaking can really help us, and we got to have him every night. So, whatever we need to do uh, for him to do that, like that's what needs to be done because obviously his skill set um, it, it's special. You know, I think for me personally, I just want to play. I want to play, you know, all 82 games if that's possible. And I think when I'm on the floor and I'm healthy, I, I can provide a lot of things to this team and, and help us be successful. So I don't want to play you know, 30, 40 games anymore like the last couple of years. And the way I feel right now, I totally feel like I can do that. All right, let's meet our 2018-2019 Memphis Grizzlies.
Well, obviously, after a tough, tough, tough year last season and, and frustrating, they brought some different guys, more veteran, uh, more, you know, ready to play sort of guys. Yeah, our off-season moves this year were, uh, they were on point in the sense that they were exactly what we needed. You know, we didn't have to make the biggest splash in the world or get the, um, you know, the most talented guy out of uh, the pool of free agents. We got guys that fit our system. We got guys who we felt that, you know, really fit their personalities, their character, you know, our culture that we want to bring here. Trying to build this mindset about grit and grind like we used to do um, that uh, we created with uh, Tony and Zach. And we try to bring it back in a, in a different style probably of basketball, different, uh, but the same mindset. So um, I think it resembles with the city and, uh, and obviously I think we all excited about the Russia that we have. Please welcome the fourth overall pick in the 2018 NBA Draft. 6'11 out of Michigan State, number 13, Jaron Jackson Jr. We're a very like deep team, so we know that, and that's going to be our advantage. You want everybody to thrive because whenever they go in the game, you know somebody's got your back if you're tired. You know you got their back if they're tired. You swing on the ball, they got you right back. Depth is a weapon, uh, and I think depth is one of our strengths. Uh, but with that depth, you need high character people who kind of understand how important it is to have that depth and the role that they're going to play uh, in that. There are going to be certain nights where you know some guys don't get an opportunity to play as much as they would like. Uh, but what I think we've done here, and give the front office credit and the ownership credit, uh, is they've put together a group of guys who are willing to do something for something bigger than themselves. Uh, they're not here for themselves, they're not here for me, they're not here for I. Uh, they're here to sacrifice for the best uh, of this organization. I think that's the key when you have a guy, you know, who maybe he doesn't play for two or three games, but because of his professionalism, because of his attitude, because of his commitment to the team, uh, you know, you play him that fourth game and he's able to go in uh, and have some success and help the team win. They're going to be prepared when their number's called and we have a bunch of guys who fit that bill. And the one thing we tell people around the country is it's different here. And this is one of the reasons why it's different. It's different because of our fans, because of you sitting here. It's different because of our players. And it's different because of the connection we have to the community. Well, micro goals are to, to get better every day. Macro, honestly, playoffs get back to where this team has been besides last year, the previous eight years. And obviously, also on that micro level, day to day, be a team that people are like, oh, we got to go to Memphis. We're gonna get some good chicken, but we gotta play against those Grizzlies, you know, and it's, we gotta build that culture here about us competing. We have a very deep team, so practices are gonna be competitive. So guys are gonna push each other to be better, and hopefully that goes on to the floor. You're gonna see um, a group of guys that are united. Whatever happens, happens, but we're gonna stay united. And, uh, and I think, obviously, that will be a challenge uh, as the year goes. When we hit adversity, you know, we stay together. And when we get hit, you know, we stay together. Get on three, one, two, three. Yeah. That's what they're going to see, and, uh, and that's what we like to be, and a really tough def defensive-minded team. I think you'll see a uh, disciplined, blue-collar team. You know, we're, we, we're a smart team. We got guys who know how to play the game, very unselfish. You know, not any one guy is going to win us a game. We, we rely on every single guy on that court, and that's the way we're built. It'll be fun, you know, it'll be a lot of fun. We've got characters on our team. We've got guys who can play the game in, in so many different ways. We've got a lot of different pieces and we're excited to get them all together and, uh, you know, get this thing going.